Hey everyone, I just got back from the Olympic Training Center and I wanted to share one of my favorite stories from the week there. True story. Um, it revolves around a wrestler who severely sprained her ankle. So I heard about this through one of the athletic trainers who was working sidelines. Um, the word sort of spread through the grapevine that one of our uh, key speaker or key athletes who was about to go travel down to South America for an international competition rolled her ankle and the coach and everyone was pretty freaked out. So a few hours later when I heard um, Marissa at the front desk talking about how this athlete might um, be showing up in an hour uh, for icing and taping, I recommended that she see me. She was a little thrown off by that suggestion, um, probably as most of you um, she thought of chiropractors as being backs and necks and maybe some other joints, but not usually for ankle sprains. But believe it or not, I told her ankle sprains are one of my absolute favorites to work on. Um, she said, hey, that's a little funky, like you love ankle sprains? And I said, I absolutely love ankle sprains. She said, well, I love beer, and I think it's kind of weird that you love ankle sprains. But okay, I'll talk to the athlete about it and see if she wants to see you. Um, and so a little while later, the athlete showed up and, uh, Marissa mentioned to her, this chiropractor says that he might be able to help your ankle and streamline your improvement. And luckily the athlete said, yes, I'd love anyone to check it out who thinks they can help get me ready to travel in a, in a few days. And we laid her down, went through a bunch of exams and evaluated what was going on there and quickly realized that luckily it was not a grade three ankle sprain. It was either a grade one or possibly a grade two. A grade three means the ligaments totally separated um, and those are extremely scary and we usually need to get surgery on that. So because it was a grade one or maybe a grade two, um, that opened up a whole nother realm of opportunities. Um, that means we can get the joint moving the way it should. We can reset the muscles around there without any risk of it tearing further or major instability or uh, problems with the arteries or, or veins in there. So um, we were able to diagnose the joint that wasn't moving the way that it should. And uh, there are actually 26 joints in the foot. Most people don't know that, but that allows the foot to have a really, really smooth movement when you're walking. It also allows each one of those joints to feed into the brain and give you a lot of information about where you are in space, which is critical for balance and particularly in this case for wrestling where you need to be able to move really quickly. Um, so we talked through how this one joint was locked up and how if I reset that joint and then um, worked on some of those muscles around there, it would streamline uh, her recovery. Luckily, she agreed to it. She came in with her coach and ended up holding her coach, her coach's hand um, during the adjustment because she was super nervous. You know, when you sprain your ankle, it feels like you're going to die if anyone touches it. So it does take a leap of faith, and I appreciate her for doing that. But quickly, we had her walking around, and she reported almost a 50% improvement in that one visit. We did do all the normal stuff. We iced her with the game ready, which is one of the tools we use at the Olympic Training Center, and then did what, what's called lymphatic taping with kinesio tape, which you've probably seen kinesio tape where they're the colorful strips that maybe are on your shoulder or back or something like this. So this is using that same tape, but we cut it in a specific pattern, which helps suck out some of the swelling and move uh, that area a little bit more efficiently. So that was another great tool that we use. So we saw her that day, once the next day, and then two times the day before she flew out. And she was walking around in sandals reporting almost uh, full recovery on her last day as she was heading to the airport. So um, it was just an awesome experience um, to get to see this elite athlete get to travel and fulfill her dreams and, and compete the way she wanted to. And also to teach some folks about how um, much I love ankles and how there is a lot more that we can do other than just simply watching, waiting, and the traditional rice, which is rest, ice, compression, and elevate. Those are 
good. But if you add in this other piece, which is reset the biomechanics and improve the range of motion, it decreases the likelihood of the person re-injuring it over and over and over again, which is the thing that really delays the healing time. So if you know someone who has uh, recurring ankle sprains or a really big uh, ankle sprain before a competition or something that they need to do, definitely point them our way. As I alluded to, we love ankle sprains and we will get them back to work and back to play. We want to keep in touch with you. Please click the subscribe now button.